Hey everyone, welcome to episode 13 of From a Dad's Perspective. I want to do something a little different this time around, and I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about why I decided to do a podcast. Why did I decide to do YouTube? Uh, part of it being therapy, uh, part of it being a way to archive my story, my journey with my friends and family. Uh, as my dad put it, as a historical archive of the journey that was growing up in Houston, uh, growing up with a dad that enjoyed going to arcades, comic book stores, toy shops, and, uh, you know, in, you know, embracing that nerd culture, uh, the things that we enjoyed. It's very much different now than it was back then, you know, uh, 40 something years ago. But I've always wanted to do some kind of thing. I enjoyed radio a lot. Uh, I enjoyed film. I went to school for film. Actually, my degree was uh, broadcasting television and, well, you know, I think it was movies, broadcasting, no, movies, television, and broadcasting, I think was the degree that I was going for. Uh, of course, things just took off in a different direction, but it was definitely something that I enjoyed. I enjoy the creative process. Uh, I know that if you talk to any of my friends, um, especially back then, I drew all the time. I would write. I'd, I'd come up with cool things like to do. And I just, a lot of it was my dad, like encouraging me and my sister to pursue our dreams, you know? And uh, it's something that took me, I'm going to be 43 this year. So yeah. <laughs> took me 30 years to figure out what I wanted to do. Uh, but I always gravitated to like in my 20s podcast because they were just a, like a cool concept. I think back to the podcast I would listen back then. Of course, the Kevin Smith podcast. And uh, there was another one that I listened to periodically. And that is the major spoilers podcast. They, it, it kind of reminded me of the conversations that would be at my home. Uh, my dad and his friends over or our, our friend, our friends over and us just sitting there talking about movies, comics, debating topics like who would win Goku versus Superman, the heated arguments that would go. Like I had a friend. I still have this friend. I just haven't talked to him in a long time. But uh, David. David would come over and it's not David who's on the podcast, but it's funny how that David will do the same thing sometimes. And it's like to get my dad, you know, he would just throw that line out there of nonsense that my dad would go, no, that's not right. And it would be this battle back and forth. And then David would just sit there with popcorn eating as this, this debate would go on. But it's those moments in my life and things that I enjoy that I wish I just would have took a tape recorder and recorded. And it wasn't until, you know, I was going to college and I ended up having a camcorder and I used it for a bit, but I didn't use it enough that I should have. Um, but podcast seemed like one of those things that was just so easy to do. You know, you just pick up your phone, pick up a recorder and like record a conversation. And I was too scared, honestly, to, sit there and be in front of a camera or just to be in front of a mic. Cause I'd be like in the moment of recording something, you know, it's not like you're just having a conversation, but your mind is always thinking about what are people who are going to receive this conversation or hear it online through an RSS feed or through iTunes or well, whatever it's called now um, or any other place that podcasts can be listened to. And then, YouTube. YouTube gave you a whole other avenue of being able to put content out there that uh, you couldn't do normally. So, and I was scared. I'll be honest. I was, I was a shy kid, even though when I got, you got to know me, I was like passionate about everything I loved. And I loved being that person to introduce to people to new things that I enjoyed because I knew people would like it. You just got to get past the, really? Why do you like this or that? But part of the reasons why I started doing the podcast is that I needed something creative to do. During COVID, I 
was still dealing with the PTSD of being carjacked back from 2016 Christmas. And uh, it really, really, and I'm still dealing with it a little bit, but I've been taking steps to help my mental state. And I'm proud of that because I don't like being depressed. And a lot of times, you know, when you're in this situation where you're creating content, you know, sometimes that stuff can reflect in what you produce and your energy levels and whatever. And um, I needed something. I was burning out because I was working 60 to 80 hours a week uh, at my previous job. Of course, it was good money. I was being able, able to do things like, you know, take care of bills. And, and if I wanted to, I could just go out to eat with my family or I could do whatever like prior to um, COVID. But when COVID happened, it was like, I was still having to go in the office. I was still having to go to the warehouses, you know, because the company I worked for, we did food distribution. So, of course, that is a major thing that was a necessity for a situation that was going on at the time. So, of course, whenever a computer would break, I would have to go to a warehouse and go fix it or replace it. And there was times where I would get equipment that was, you know, probably someone was contaminated who had COVID and I had to like let it sit there for a while, spray it down with Lysol and stuff. But um, I needed something. My, I, uh, it was a lot of things were getting to me, especially when you're when you're dealing with depression. Of course, you're dealing with the fact that you can't hang out with your friends as much. You you couldn't even see your family. Uh, so that's why I I, I picked up Zoom. Um, we started role playing and. It was fun and that stopped, but I it was like, well, I have Zoom. I'm paying for it. Let's do a podcast. And that was really fun. It's very therapeutic. I had the first episode I had David and my buddy Alex on and we're all we were at the time. We were all fathers and, you know, we wanted to talk about gaming and collecting and arcades, movies and even go into the processes of like, you know, from a dad's perspective of like just the things that were going on in the world and social media and uh, giving our opinions, uh, being passionate about the things we enjoy. And it was nice. Uh, of course, I had to learn how to edit with the tools that I had at the time. And, you know, I remember like the, like the first two episodes, I had a free account at the time for zoom so you only have like 40 minutes so that was hard trying to contain your conversation within that time frame without it cutting off but and eventually i paid for it and that helped out a lot and i've enjoyed doing it i've met some great people uh and i've made connections i have found opportunities to talk to people I probably never would have just because if I didn't do something on YouTube or do a podcast. Uh, it's really helped me not go down dark paths. Like, you know, I, as I've talked about this before, and now that I'm, you know, getting, I'm seeking help about certain things and, and working on stuff to help me see more positive things instead of negative. I, uh, I'm glad that like, I'm very thankful for like everybody I get to, to meet and, but yeah, I was, when things wouldn't go well, I'd have like these moments of like almost, it's a wonderful life of like, well, would I be, might my family be better off if I wasn't here and, and stuff like that. And it's not a good, good mental state. And then. You know, we all deal with stuff and like it didn't help that when my grandmother passed and the nonsense that we were dealing with, with our family on that side. Um, and it's been easy for me to kind of move away from that because I don't want to be around negative stuff. Uh, I know we, we passionately talk about things we don't like, but it's only because we like these things that we are very passionate about. And the reason why we give our perspective, because Good storytelling helps you 
escape the war, the, the, the problems of the world that are going around. And uh, maybe you know, you're struggling to pay your bills and uh, or you're dealing with a breakup or a divorce or you know a loss of a friend or family member and being able to be maybe that voice of like comfort and uh just something to get your mind off like i don't know how many times i got to watch certain youtubers and that i still follow today that help me through the loss of a friend or when my uncle passed away and uh or when my grandparents were gone um and I'm very thankful, you know, like Happy Console Gamer and uh, Boogie2998. Um, you know, it was, uh, for him, it was just because of the fact that, like, my buddy Jason reminded me of him. And, you know, when my buddy Jason passed away, it was really, really hard. And sometimes, you know, you, you forget when you're going through depression that, um, or just anything, that you have these lifelines and that as long as you reach out, you know, um, people are willing to want to listen for the most part. Some people, they're going to sit there and say, oh, we all go through this and all that other stuff. And it's like, yeah, but we go, no two people are the same. And, uh, you know, sometimes there's a level that will reach that it's hard to move past it. And Sometimes it's like it's it's nice and therapeutic to be able to like reach out to friends and let them know, hey, I'm not doing well. I got things on my mind and like and then being there for you. And you know, and it helps to listen to what they say. You know, sometimes if we don't have the um maybe the experience to deal with what someone's going through, but we can we can be there, talk to them, reassure them that you know, everything's going to be okay. You know, uh, call them up and see how they're doing, play video games with them, watch a movie, uh, have a discussion. You know, sometimes that's, that's what's needed in life. We, we forget that we get wrapped up in everything that's going on in our lives, that we do have these connections. As long as we do just reach out, you know, make that first contact. Um, you know, that's one thing that I, I'm going to, I'm always going to be a hundred percent me. With anything I do on YouTube, whether it be the podcast, uh, our discussions about toys or products that are coming out, um, reviews and whatever we decide to do, because uh, it's not just me. It's my dad. It's my Uncle Colin. It's anybody of my friends that I have on these channels. This is this is their experience, too. And I, 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 I I'm always welcoming anybody who wants to come on to have a conversation with us and even leave and leave us a comment to, to talk about. Um, but I will never be fake to you guys. I'll never, you know, put on a persona that isn't really me. And, uh, I'm going to start working on trying to not be as negative as much. Um, there's a lot of things going on in the world, a lot of media that we enjoy and consume that made us who we are, that is changing, um, whether it be for the good or bad. And, it's hard when you have a franchise that you enjoy very, very much that is just going off the deep end and it's, it's not going to exist anymore. And, you know, you can't share that love of that media with your child and have them get to have that experience themselves. Cause I remember with my dad, it was like, my dad showed me the love of star Wars and I got to watch the films. I got to read the books. I got to play with the toys. I got to play the video games and now that I'm at the point where I'm a father and I get to pass that along to my son, I know that there's going to be nothing new that's going to continue or replicate what we got in the past. And it's not going to be something that he can resonate with. And that's hard, you know? Um, man, I'm going all over the places with this. But a lot of this is just like, you know, a reasons why I did this stuff was at first, you know, I wanted to have a conversation. I wanted to talk about my childhood, my friend's childhood, what it was like being in high school and and in being adults before we met our significant others and becoming parents. I wanted to create an archive for my child or my friend's children that they can go back and listen to. And when they're older, 
And if we're not here anymore, at least they'll get to hear our voices. They'll get to hear our memories. They'll have an understanding of who we were at the time when they were younger. And even as they grow up, um, I'm hoping to be here for a long, long time. But I, you know, we don't know. Sometimes you'll wake up tomorrow and I won't be here, you know. Um, and that's just the truth of reality. Um, but as I've done this, it's not just for him. It's for for my friends and their kids. But it's also for me because... I've had some scares with my father since 2019 after he was assaulted by a guy that he was supposed to buy something off of Facebook marketplace. Uh, the dude cracked four places on his jaw, a couple of his ribs, messed up his hand, um, put him in the hospital, destroyed his immune system, made his diabetes worse. Uh, he's got chronic problems. And uh, all from this one incident. And uh, I've almost lost him like four times. And it's scary. And I'm glad that I get to have him on the podcast or with videos about us discussing stuff. So when it's his time, I will at least be able to hear his voice. Because that's one of the things that's hard when you lose a family member is that you lose that. Um, sometimes like the certain things start going like, you know, maybe the smell that makes you remind you of them, the, the their mannerisms, their voice, uh, you know, their movements and stuff. Cause as we, as we age, you know, just our memories change and, um, you know, and that's, that's funny too. Cause like I was watching, happy console gamers video about the fact that he lost his mom and everything and you know how his friends were coming over and he was talking about like he was so glad that he got to do a video with her but he missed the fact that he didn't get to do a video with his father and uh i'm happy that i get to do that with my 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 dad and then i get to technically i want to do things with my son i want to be able to stream games with him and i want to have discussion topics and and other things with him as he gets older, you know, he's going to be 10 this year and it's, it's going to be so important. And, uh, I'm glad the technology is here for us to be able to do that. It's, you know, cause we didn't have YouTube back then, like when we were younger, um, or ways to archive this stuff, but we do now. And, uh, I'm going to capitalize on as much as I can, but I do this for them and you know i'm thankful for the friends i've made ryan and jose and matt moses and you know the zombie and there's so many people on the list that i've made really great friends of uh like die and ruby and great white north and this man there's just like mario uh tib there's so many people i could talk about but like, it's great being able to have like conversations with people and not feel that it's, it's not real or forced or they, 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 they're only there because you, uh, they're bored or something like, it's like, you want to have a conversation with people. You want to have fun and talk about the things that you would love and enjoy, or maybe just somebody that can sit there and listen while you get things off your chest because you're dealing with something. It's very therapeutic. It's uh, It helps you realize that a lot of times we're all different, but then sometimes we're the same. And then it shows that people do care about who you are and what you do. And uh, but I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful for like everybody who's either checked out the podcast or anything I do and uh, the people who subscribe and, and enjoy the discussions. And I, I, I hope that I can have more people on on the uh, on the podcast to be able to talk about different topics because like this week i have um an episode i did with um kid halo which was his topic and then i had stark gaming um i had great white north and tylord and us we just kind of hadn't did our top 10 
most nostalgic video games. And there's some insights of stuff about of who we are and like why we like these things. And I think that's the thing that's missing sometimes. We like to show off stuff, but it's like, what's the what's the reason behind it? I want to hear the stories behind why you like these things. And um, that's where the relatability is. It's not like, oh, because I have this R2-D2 here and you had it as a kid or you have the same one, but what what's or how do you resonate with this? Like, I could tell you tons of stuff. It would probably be like 100 episodes about how I love Star Wars and why I love Star Wars and why this R2-D2 is so awesome and and all this stuff. And it's like sometimes... We don't get that. We just get the 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 facts. The and the oh well, this was made by this and blah blah blah. And it's like, yeah, that's okay. We all know that stuff. We can all look up that stuff. But I want to hear the personal stories behind it. And that's what I'm always going to do. I'm always going to bring the personal side to the content I produce. And uh, fun, you know, it's all about fun. There's a whole reason why we do this stuff. Is it should be about fun. Um, I don't plan to quit my job you know, uh, with this, but I want to be, it is a hobby and I enjoy it. I enjoy reading the comments. I enjoy the engagement I get with, from my friends. And I, I try to be there for them as much as I can. And it's hard being a dad is freaking hard. And, you know, a husband, you know, you got work, you got responsibilities, you got housework, you got to do, you got bills, you got to pay, uh life happens so like you just can't be there all the time you just you do what you can and uh it's what i do but i i try my best so please don't don't uh don't knock me for for not being there when i can um but yeah let me go let me go back so that's part of the reason why i did this too it's like it also was one of the things that have helped me get over being shy being a public speaker uh making sure I find the right words and fixing the issues with speaking and, uh, or presenting. And it definitely has helped with like a lot of things. And sometimes like, even like, even though you're in a school for film or you had drama class, you know, sometimes like when you work a job, you don't use any of that stuff. So it's like, okay, I got to relearn. It's not necessarily like, like a bicycle all the time with everything you know you can't just like pick up a bicycle and ride it again no this is something totally different but uh no i just there was a lot of reasons why i decided to do a podcast and it's something i've always wanted to do we've had multiple names for this we've actually recorded multiple episodes trying to get a podcast off the ground and it just didn't feel right and for me at the time with everything that was going on it was just the perfect perfect storm because the reason why I even like kind of started doing streaming on YouTube other than just being someone who consumes content was because of what happened to my dad. You know, he couldn't play video games and there was games coming out that he wanted to play, but he, unless he was over at my, my sister's house where her husband was playing it or fiance at the time, or I, he was at my house or I was at his house playing, you know, he wouldn't have access to it. So there was a lot of times that I was like, all right, this is coming out. I'm going to stream it, dad, so you can watch it. And I'll just be on the phone with you, you know, and we'll talk about it. And that's what I did. And until I became comfortable in my own skin and uh, in my own voice. And uh, it's helped me out a lot. And I hope to have many more episodes and more podcasts. I definitely have episode three of the Why We Collect podcast. I just need to finish it. I need to put in, I need to finish the audio part of it. And then I need to put in the video clips for it. Cause it was a really good discussion. And, um, there's a special guest that comes back that, uh, hasn't been seen on the YouTube streets for a while. Um, but I'm glad that he decided to come on and uh, hang out with me, my dad and Ryan. And, uh, I don't want to have that sitting in a, in a loop and him going like, why hasn't this come out? And I'm going to get it out. Don't worry. I actually, my plan is that I'm going to get this episode out that I'm talking right now as far as the uh, my vlog. And then I'll get tomorrow when I get home, I'll work on the podcast for Wednesday and I'll try to get the while we collect episode finished. So probably maybe Sunday we can premiere it. But um, that's a hard thing, too. You know, we're we're all juggling with stuff and I just sometimes I just can't 
find the time to sit in here and either make content or edit the content I make. And a lot of it's like, sometimes you just, you don't feel it. It's like you're working on it and it just doesn't feel right because you don't want to do what everybody else is doing. You don't want to do things that just don't represent you. And that's not what the podcast stuff is. It's just, and then sometimes too, it was for me, part of it was the depression, you know, dealing because it's hard, like, because my dad getting hurt and then me getting carjacked was right around Christmas, you know? So it's like right around that time, it was sometimes it's a little hard, you know, especially when, you know, you're trying to get bills together. You're trying to get presents for your, your family. And, uh, if you don't take the time to enjoy it and, uh, May you know, put your your decorations up and just immerse yourself in the holiday spirit that helps you kind of like get out of your funk because it's all about giving. You know, it's not about receiving. Um, I'd rather get things from my friends and then like be surprised about what they got because I take the time and I learned this from my father. I take the time to know somebody and find something that they're going to enjoy and they're going to like. I don't just buy because, oh, well, I feel obligated because if I don't do this and I won't get anything myself, I don't care about getting anything. Um, th the best thing is seeing your son open something he's really wanted and I'm going, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm being a little preachy probably, but I, I just given my perspective on things and it's uh i can tell you guys that it's things have been getting a lot better and i'm pretty sure i've noticed that i've been doing a lot more of putting the podcast out i've been trying to a little bit do more streaming you know i did that stream almost every day until i finished final fantasy rebirth uh i do plan the stream this thursday last thursday and the thursday after that we had stuff going on and i couldn't couldn't get the time to do it and of course, well, technically, last Thursday, I was playing Minecraft with my son. Sometimes it's just like, I need to break away from from doing things so I can build those memories with my kid. And that'd be something probably I'll do at some point, is uh, me and him just playing Minecraft and I'll live stream it. Um, I don't know, I, you know, and you guys can are welcome to hang out and... Uh, but it's like, I'm there for him, you know? And, uh, as Ray White North and Ruby told me that the, you know, when I was talking about, I don't know if I'm going to stream some of the, the grinding that I need to do to get ready for, uh, hard mode. But, uh, they said, we're not there for that. We're there for you. We're there to have a conversation. And that's, I'm very thankful for that. And that's what I hope that, you know, my streams are, is just people coming in, hanging out for a bit, even if it's just a, see how I'm doing or see how you're doing. And uh, I'm just going to have a real conversation. We may cut up and make jokes, but I'm going to be me. I'm going to be who I am, you know, but uh, yeah. Um, I guess the question I'll leave you guys with uh, is what made you guys start doing YouTube as far as if you do content create? Well, actually that's the question. So do you content create? And if you do, why? What what's made you start doing it? You know, what's your what's your end goal? What's your what's your process like? You know, let me know. I'd I'd love to read it. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to have a conversation with you about it. And um, you know. If you don't, just tell me, you know, who you watch, what you watch. I don't know. Um anything. You want to tell me you're going through a bad time? I'm here. You know, uh we can talk. I'll do. I'll give you the best perspective I can on on whatever. Uh, I learned that from my dad, and I'm thankful every moment I have with him, and my sister, and my family, and my friends. Thank you guys for everything. Thank you for uh, you know brightening my days and uh, helping me kick this uh, nonsense in my brain. And you know, don't be afraid to ask or reach out for help.
um, I've lost a couple friends and family to uh, someone doing something, you know, taking their life or uh, you know, ODing, and it's I miss them. And sometimes it's one of those things that you got to realize that you know you're going to hurt some other people more than you know resolving that a certain way and uh and i'm not trying to make it seem like i'm i'm thinking about doing that stuff i'm not but you know just just be positive and uh find time to remind yourself of the things that are positive in your life that make you happy because we all go through things and sometimes the best thing you can do is just reach out. I don't know anybody that would like, if you were dealing with something that would not go and say, Hey, what's going on? Finding out and being just a human being, being a nice person to somebody. Uh, but yeah, that's it guys. Uh, I don't know how long this, this episode is, but, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, until then, I will see you on episode 89 of the podcast uh, this week and or when I stream. If not, I'll just jump in your your whatever you got going on. But uh oh, and then uh, just one thing. Uh I want to give a congratulations to Retro Ryan, my buddy who just hit 50k subs. The man worked really hard and busted his butt to provide great nostalgic content, great streams that take us back to watching MTV as a kid or watching Nickelodeon. He understands what it is that we are all nostalgic for. And it's a conversation starter. It is a friendship maker. It is much more than that. It's a very positive, positive thing that he's doing. And uh, dude, congratulations, man. And uh, you, it's well deserved. Keep going, and uh, you deserve it, brother. But other than that, everyone have a great week. Stay positive. I'll catch you later.